minutes, the state has shut down a group home in Hutto. That's after multiple violations that's leaving patients there looking for a new place to go. The Department of Aging and Disability Services, also known as DADS, says a step beyond didn't properly treat its patients. We first told you about the investigation last month when a patient ran around the neighborhood banging on doors in the middle of the night. KXAN's Sophia Beausoleil has been following this story. Sophia, what did the state find in its investigations? Well, the state told us that during its investigations back in April and May, a step beyond failed to fill prescriptions and give medication to clients. Also, they're accused of not having a nurse to monitor medications. And we spoke with a former employee who says that wasn't the only problem. I wanted to stay and protect the clients. But at the same time, I knew that it was uh, it was bigger than I was. This woman, who we'll call Ashley, used to be a nurse for a step beyond. She's asked us to conceal her identity because she believes she'll be a witness for further investigations. The staff wasn't trained. They weren't prepared. They didn't know what to do. There was no behavior plan in the home. Those are just a few of the reasons why the Department of Aging and Disability Services says it's shutting down a step beyond. The agency provides services for people with intellectual disabilities. Hutto's mayor pro tem Michael Smith is listed as the CEO and director of A Step Beyond. Is there anybody that you can direct me to who I could talk to? No, Not even Michael? We went to the company's main location in Hutto. Smith wasn't there, but he sent us a statement saying he disagrees with the state's allegations and blames a former registered nurse for the problems who he later terminated. Ashley says Smith is referring to her and she denies being fired. I resigned. I gave two weeks notice um, because I just I couldn't deal with what was going on anymore. This nurse believes the people who will suffer are the clients. If we can have more attention to this whole industry, I, I think that um, more needs to be done, basically. And I and I hope that I hope that everybody's okay. And one of A Step Beyond's other listed directors is Michael Smith's mother. Police arrested her earlier this year for DWI, and according to court records, she confessed to taking anxiety pills she stole from the group home. Dad says she and her son are now barred from contracting with the state for eight years. Reporting here in the studio, Sophia Beausoleil. KXAN News. All right, Sophia, thank you. According to the Texas Department of Aging and Disability Services, a step beyond has significantly more violations than an average facility in Texas. An inspection in April found 14 violations. We mentioned the facility failed to monitor patients' medications and therapies. The inspection also found a step beyond did not provide adequate safety and security for its residents. In comparison, most Texas providers have about nine violations and they rarely involve services inside the facility.